Hey everybody, um, Brad Wiggles back. We're on video 19, revision one, um, the build. So this is uh, just gonna summarize the build process to the fixes that we did uh, to the machine. The machine. Well, the first step was uh, removing all of the original brackets. Unbolted on right there. Next was taking all the walking beams and grinding off the, the brackets. So there you can see the original spot. And here's the uh, brackets that I, that I ground off. Um, we've templated the axles. So, uh, I've sanded all the axle stubs just to get a little bit of extra clearance. Um, they're looking good. These are actually a bushing that I bought. They're actually a pin from a hydraulic cylinder, not a pin, but a sleeve. Anyways, uh, the right fit would be perfect, but they're like $20 each and they only had three at Princess Auto. So I decided I had to find that better material. And as you guys know, if you watch the other video, we've got this uh, inch and a quarter ID by inch and a three quarters OD. So it's quarter inch wall um, DOM tubing. Just finished cutting all that. So gonna get started doing the the split as you can see there split and then drive a wedge a chisel in and then uh, tack it together we'll do all them up and uh, oh yeah I should show you the brackets I got from 4e welding and design here they are nice looking little rigs uh, yeah awesome I do have to give them a bit of a grind uh, it's a plasma cut, so there's uh, a bit of a taper to the edge, and uh, it actually does fit over one direction. It fits over part ways, but doesn't fit over the other half, so I've got a cone grinder disc, and I'll stick it on and give it a little zzz. It should be a piece of cake. So next should be, all these should be welded up, and uh, grind these out. And then we'll show how we're going to lay them on. All right, we got some progress here. I put a cross beam in between the two rails. I did this while I was uh, letting other uh, steel cool. So yeah, this should uh, help to keep the rails from twisting. I'm going to add one at the back as well. Other than that, what we got is a uh, whole pile of these tubes so they've all been oops they've all been uh split welded and ground oh tired and then my brackets here there's a you know there's a little bit of not quite fit there but uh a little bit of work with the cone on the grinder so yeah not looking good so I'm going to uh, fit two of these on the spacing to match the uh, um, brackets two inches wide for all of the walking beams and three inches for the main beam with a little bit of gap so that there's some space and then weld these on and then uh, and then weld them to the to all the brackets so that'll be the next video Peace out and see you all next week.